Hello again, and I'd like to demonstrate the uh, saturable reactor and its effect upon uh, LC tuned circuit. So what we have here is we've got the scope now, I've got it peaked. It's uh, running at about 22 kilohertz. It's got a, about a 6 millihenry inductance on the uh, coil that winding which is in phase and then our control winding is there so you can I'll just uh, adjust the frequency you can see it's not in resonance and then suddenly if I go over it goes down but then I can peak it around there now I have a multimeter oops, uh, looking at the current going from the transformer through a small bridge rectifier into a smoothing cap and then into the control windings. Now here you've, I've used microphone cable so essentially it's tri -filer. so the probe goes in one end through the red, out the red this side into the white and out the right this side into the smoothing cap. The other end of the probe is connected to the positive so this is how I'm monitoring the current, as you can see it's off, and I'm controlling it via a variac. Now let's take a look at the scope as we slowly increase the current. Okay, so I'm only using about six, six volts or so on the output of the transport. Right, we've suddenly reached a point where the resonance has dropped. Current through the coil is 0.8 of an amp DC. Now, because I've, because I have um, increased the current, I've now lost a bit of inductance. So I expect the the frequency to become on tune if I go higher, and it does. It's now slightly higher at twenty-two point nine. Whereas before, let's just take it down again. Twenty-two. It's not not that much. Let's peak it again. It was lower at twenty-two. So yeah, nine kilo. Uh, yeah, it has gone up just by increasing. Now let's put about an amp through there. So we've now drifted off frequency. Let's correct it. It has gone up. Twenty-three point two hours. Whoops. This, this, uh, I need to really sort the mess out around here. Right, so let's turn it back down to zero. That's more inductance. Try two amps. Come on. That's close enough. As you can see, we are now way off frequency. Let's correct that situation. So we've got less inductance, so it's going to be much higher. It is, we are getting a little bit of distortion. That's about right, unless I'm wrong, let's try high. Yeah, no, that's way off. Okay. I think it might, my windings aren't perfect. We're getting a little bit of possibly mixing or modulation going on. Anyway, two amps. What we have now, 26 kilohertz. So it, it does vary. Let's try quite an extreme change. Let's try about three amps. That'll do. 